Welcome back guys to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a very interesting company that has a very small market cap that is trading at $187 million market cap and founded in 1991. They've been around in business for quite some time now but what really interested me is ARK Invest has been buying into it very heavily. They have about 5.3 million shares and that is crazy and I'm really interested to know why they're interested in this company. The name of the company is Aqua Bounty, ticker symbol AQB. And this company first IPO'd in 2017 around January and uh, it was trading at $23 per share. Then it went down all the way to $2. Actually at some point it reached $1.90 and that is very interesting. Currently it is trading at $4.17 and daytime on Friday $4.47. So overall let's see why this company is very valuable to ARK Invest. Maybe it can give us a good buying opportunity if we believe in this its future value. I'm not saying go ahead and buy into it but let's see what this company does. So to know where ARK Invest funds are you simply go to www.arkfunds.com if you really want to know more about ARK Invest, you can just subscribe and you can get notified every time when there is new news. And you can simply fill your name and whichever ETFs that you're interested in, you can put a check mark and uh, you get notification every time there is something new. But if you're not interested into subscribing, there is another way to find out what type of holdings they have and what type of purchasing they've been making. So I would go into active ETFs and after that i'll click overview etfs and right here actively manage innovation then pretty much you can see about five companies five etfs they're funding and today we're gonna go and see the genome revolution ticker symbol arkg so by default it kind of shows you the top 10 holdings they have and if you see most of these companies are not a small companies they actually have a very big uh, market cap but the company they are recently investing in that has a very small cap compared to these other companies so let's see how we can find that company and the remaining holdings so pretty much you can go and see right here on the left corner uh, there is funding documents right there you can go and click on um, anything that you want but for now we go and see funding holdings PDF so we can pretty much understand why uh, ARK Invest is investing in this company so right at the bottom like you can see uh, they have about five point five million three hundred and twenty thousand six hundred and eighty four shares let me highlight it for you right here at the bottom so that is about twenty two million dollars so that is crazy that is not a small amount of money that is a lot of money uh, so if you divide twenty two million by five million share price is around four dollars so even in yahoo finance you can go into holdings and you can see that arc invest is the second biggest investor in this company about 8.59 percent uh, there is vanguard too and there is third security that holds about 40 percent of this company and right at the bottom top mutual fund holders it is also another arc invest that pretty much has about 1.3 million shares and at the top there is about 3.86 million shares together it's around 5.3 million shares i guess so overall arc invest is highly invested in this company but um let's see what this company does and why arc invest is really interested in this company so overall one thing that i can say is this is agriculture class biotechnology what they do is genetically modified salmon so you can go onto their website and pretty much see and understand and uh, learn about this company. They have all different type of videos, what kind of processes they follow uh, and what type of farms they have. So they have pretty big farms. One of the farms are located in Indiana, Albany, Indiana, 122,000 square feet. And it produces about 1200 metric ton of salmon each year. That is a lot, but uh, I believe this company is just getting started. This is expected actually in the Q4 of 2020, right now at the Q4 of 2020, and see we'll see what happens. And if we see another location they have, I believe they have a location in Canada. It is the Prince Island um, 
so here it's about 250 metric ton a year and this is pretty small compared to the other one but still uh, it's a very decent size another location they have is again in Canada now they are pretty much using it for R&D lab which is for research and development uh, to come up with new futuristic uh, I think innovations so this is a pretty interesting company it can be very controversial for some people who don't really believe in it because they're pretty much using genetically modified salmon and some people are not happy with that because currently if you see a lot of farm animals chickens uh, different beef cows and all that they kind of get genetically modified and people are not happy with it but maybe it could solve a big problem in the long run or not but at the end of the day if there is a huge demand for this products people won't even know if it is genetically modified or not so let's compare what genetically modified means so this fish is like you can see this both salmons are the same age both are about 18 months old but if you see the one on top is about three times the one on the bottom the length is about 24 inches and the weight is about 6.6 .6 pounds the one at the bottom is about 13 inches and the weight is about 2.8 pounds so that is crazy so why is this happening because they're making the one on top is genetically altered what it says is aqua bounty aqua advantage salmon can reach adult size in 16 to 18 months instead of 36 months for regular atlantic salmon this transgenic salmon eat 20 25 percent less feed and are about 20 percent more efficient in converting that food to flesh very interesting it eats less it grows bigger so pretty much this is a machine a money machine you know they uh, manufacture this uh, fishes they're very effective they're um, less fed and they make way more money than the one because the other one they had to wait about 36 months and this one it's gonna be ready in 16 to 28 months so that is a very good business model and if they succeed in it there is a lot of money to be made if we come and see here uh, and some of the financials and uh, the analysis here and this company is pretty small so I don't think there is gonna be a lot into it uh, the PE ratio the price to earning ratio they don't have it yet but uh, the EPS ratio the earning per share is negative 0.0, .0 um, five seven so which means the company is losing money and overall like you can see it's gonna be growing the short term mid term and long term sometimes we cannot believe these things and it says overvalued because the company is not making any money at this moment maybe the EPS is negative uh, sometimes because of that sometimes they're gonna do overall analysis for this company but it is pretty small and we don't have a lot of data to kind of do those things at this level but based on what the analysts are saying um, it's very bullish and it has a very good future from what I am seeing now but at the end of the day we don't know if this company is gonna make it or not that is the uh, the problem in investing in a penny stock either you make money or you lose everything so if you see the sales growth in the current quarter is about four thousand and sixty percent that is crazy the next quarter is fourteen thousand and 185 percent that is one analyst saying and another three analysts in current year they're saying it is going to be about 1184 percent and three analysts is 207 percent so overall they kind of uh, average down and come up with a number at the end of the day you can pretty much do that and uh, come up with your own number but we are at the q4 of this year so we can see where this company is going to be um, heading and Overall, if we see how many analysts uh, give it the buy rating and where their price target is, right here, the current price is about 4%. And uh, in the current quarter, they believe it's going to grow about 50%. And next quarter, about 36% or so. So um, overall, right here, you guys can see there are four analysts that give it a rating for buy. Every, everything is a buy. And the current price is $4.16. Low is about four dollar and fifty cents average four dollar eighty three cents and high is about five dollars if it grabs investors attention and if they start to uh, become public and most people are interested in this company this can go to ten twenty dollars very quickly and um, we don't know how 
that's gonna work but ARK Invest are very smart very smart um, fund and they know what they're doing uh, because uh, they, this fund started very recently and now it is doubling and tripling in price so that is why I am really interested in this company if we come and see the ticker symbol for this fund it is actually uh, I think it is ARKG let's go and have a finance and check it out ARKG so right here you guys can see that uh, it's trading at $79 and 61 cents uh, if we go and see the last uh, one year uh, it was trading around $27 in March and now it's trading around $79 that is pretty crazy growth uh, about two to three times so that's why I'm saying that they just do a lot of research before buying into this company they just don't buy it because at the end of the day they're gonna affect their overall ETF so just buy into it I mean uh, look into it make your own profound research don't just buy it because somebody say so all I am doing is conveying message and sharing my ex my um, founding on this company and why I am interested in it am I invest am I gonna invest in it uh, at this point not really I just want to see where the stock is gonna go uh, in the next week couple of weeks or so and do more research on this one but i believe there is a huge growth potential with that thank you guys for watching this video if you have any questions or concerns please leave it in the comment section and